So Nugent is Merseyside's largest social care and welfare charity and has been supporting over 1,500 people throughout this pandemic and it is continuing to support all those people. Now that means they need all the support that they can get from us and from Liverpool and Liverpool City region. So they've decided to launch a couple of appeals uh, to try and raise some vital funds. And I'm joined today by Ainsley, one of the team at Nugent, to tell us a little bit more about the appeals that they have ongoing at this very moment. So we are providing that vital safety net um, for the most at-risk children, um, young adults, adults and family across Merseyside. And a lot of what I wanted to mention today is about our weekly food market. Um, it's one of the main things we're trying to tackle at the moment is food poverty. Um, and we've launched a well, we're in the process of launching a mobile pantry to try and reach more deprived areas across the city. And we're also um, in the process of a refurbishment project for our charity shop as well, which wow. plays a huge part in raising funds, again, to support the most vulnerable yeah. people. The income generated through the shop has such a big impact on protecting those vulnerable children, adults and families across Merseyside and the support we've received so far is amazing um, from local businesses and the contributions that have been made so far is brilliant. Um, we have a construction company, Crawl Call It Construction, um, who have generously donated their time um, and effort so far. Um, so they've agreed to coordinate the project and recruited a lot of subcontractors who are helping out as well and we also have Jamie who's the director of Studio Up North who's created a fresh brand identity for the shop as well and um, so during these uncertain times it's really nice to have received such good support from these local businesses who may be facing challenges themselves um, but community supports at the heart of what they do. And then you do have a, a, another appeal um, with regards to sort of the donation of old laptops. Uh, so can you tell me a bit about that one as well? Obviously at the moment, a lot of children are expected to be homeschooled at the moment from home when a lot of them don't have access to laptops. And it's the same as a lot of the looked after children within our care who don't have access to laptops either. Um, and 9% of children in the UK don't actually have access to a laptop, but in Liverpool alone, it's 6,373 children who don't have access. Um, so we're reaching out to local businesses or individuals who may be able to have, to donate any laptops which they don't use or tablets, because one could change a child's future. Really. So for people that do want to donate or find out more information or even just get in touch with you guys, how can they do that? So we have a specific link for the charity shop refurbishment project, um, which is a virgin money giving link, um, which I can share, which they can donate directly to. Um, but they are welcome to go on our website and donate. How can businesses get involved and what sort of support are you looking for? So we're looking to establish partnerships with local businesses who may be able to support us on an ongoing basis. So as I mentioned, we have the mobile pantry, which we're looking to roll out as soon as possible. We're looking for vehicles or regular supply of food from retailers or any socially minded businesses who may be able to help us reach in those most deprived areas across the city. Best of luck with the, with the two appeals. We hope to see um, a nice shiny refurbed Allerton store as soon as possible. And uh, yeah, um, best of luck with everything for the year ahead. Thanks very much.